Hey guys, let's continue along the thought process of my last video and talk about importing and exporting IO settings. All right, so having an export of my IO settings actually came in handy recently because I had to have this computer repaired and it completely wiped my IO settings. I had to reinstall all my software, stuff like that. So I had an export of my IO settings and I was able to then import them and that saved me a lot of time. I mean, I've since then changed the IO settings a bunch and re-exported and resaved them, but um, it still saved me a ton of time with that initial install, right? And you know, we're always changing things around here. So what you wanna do is you go to setup at the top and you go to IO, and this will open up your input output settings. That's what IO stands for. And we talked about this a little bit in the last video, how you can customize things, you can rename things, right? So right here, I have my Neve 5254. I have it labeled as such, right? So now I can really easily find that insert path for my Neve. So you might have stuff like this that you've customized, or you might have things that you've changed from the default, right? A lot of times in Pro Tools, if we have issues, we might highlight all of our inserts, for example, and then delete all of them and then hit default to repopulate with the default settings. That's one thing that people tend to do when they're troubleshooting. So I especially, if I'm about to do this to try to fix something, I will export my IO settings so that I can really easily bring them back, especially if reverting to the default doesn't fix whatever the issue is, right? So it's really good to have a save out there and then to be able to import that save, right? To have an export of your IO and then to have be able to import your IO. So in the last video, I actually labeled this Great River 1, 2, because that's my Great River preamp input. It's line 5, 6. So I'm going to do that again. And then since I made a change, I might want to make a new export, right? So I just go to export settings down here. And then you just want to name it. So the default folder is a great place to put it. I've done that before. If you notice here, I have like Kato Studio and then the date. So I know which one's the most recent, right? So I have one from 526, one from 530. Maybe I want to save a new one. So Kato Studio. And maybe, you know, for different uses, you might want to have different saves. But I'm just in this one studio with this computer for the most part. So so I tend to just name all mine Kato Studio or something similar. But you just want to name the file so you can really easily find the one that you want, right? So whatever helps you remember which one that is. So for me, I just want to find my most recent studio one for the most part. So I just save it by the date, right? So name the file, place it in your I.O. settings, and then hit save. And now if I want, I can take this and delete my paths. I can hit default. I can decide that didn't do what I wanted it to do. And you'll notice that this is specific per tab here. So I just cleared and set my inputs to the default, but I still have, for example, in my inserts, I still have the Neve 5254 labeled. So if you want to set everything to default, you do have to go through per tab and do it. So you highlight all of them, hit delete, hit default. But let's say here, I just reverted this to default and I want this to come back in with, with the labeling that I wanted. So what I can do is go to import settings, I can find the one I just saved, right? And I hit open, and now it's reverted back to my save version for me. So that's it, it's super simple. It takes almost no time, and it's much easier than redoing all of your IO settings by hand. So I do recommend making a save of your IO settings if you at all change them from the default. So it can really help you save a lot of time in the long run. So that's it, importing and exporting IO settings in Pro Tools. I hope someone found that helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, I'd appreciate all of that stuff. And I do have a Patreon, so it's patreon.com slash Noise, and my Patreon get access to additional content. The big thing we've been focusing on lately is the Discord server. We've been having a lot of fun on there. We have a book club on there. Um, so feel free to check that out if you want to check that out. And other than that, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you so much for watching. Okay. So what you want to do is you go to setup and then IO. Ooh, you can hear the COVID in my voice. Oh my gosh. I'm so worn out. I'm just trying to record like three videos today. And I'm... COVID. I might have to stop. I might have to chill. Am I able to chill? I can chill. I should chill. I'm going to do one more, then I'll chill. I keep trying to talk and it's like COVID is blocking me from speaking. So that's fun. That's a lot of fun. I hope you guys don't mind that my voice sounds weird because I have COVID voice. But um, I am feeling much better than the past couple days. So that's it.
Um. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.